I'm doing a coolant flush on this 06 Toyota Camry. Uh, to do that, I'm going to take off the cap here and then drain the radiator with the, with the engine cold. You don't need a lift to do this job, but it, it's easier for recording purposes. You can fit a pan underneath, and then you open up this bottom pet cock and drain the radiator. And uh, then you close it up again, and then I'm adding demineralized water, uh, softened water to the system. And you can uh, follow the link in the description for the video as to why I did that. I'm using hot water because it'll help it get up to operating temperature a little quicker when I run it later. Then I'm putting in a, a bottle of flush treatment and rust remover and this is kind of the scrub cycle. So I top off the radiator with the treatment and water and fill up the overflow reservoir and then I'm going to go drive it for three to four hours or 100 miles or 200 miles or so to give it a good scrub. Uh, you don't want to do this below freezing temperatures, otherwise you could you could freeze it. It's not the same as antifreeze, and it's dangerous below uh, cold temperatures. So if you park it overnight and do this over a few days, then you want to keep it inside a garage or someplace it won't freeze. Then I'm going to dump that treatment out. That exhaust manifold's hot. I'm using the bottom valve first before I open the top lid to depressurize the system because it's hot now and then uh, it's okay to take the cock cap off after that and I'm taking the pet cock completely out because it drains faster and now we're going to do several uh, rinse cycles I'm going to do about three cycles until I just have water coming out clear out the bottom so I fill it up again with hot water and then uh, I'll go run it again get it up to operating temperature and uh, and then bring it back in the shop, open up the bottom pet cock again, depressurize the system by doing that. You can see there's some pressure there, it's kind of a hot spray. And then once I feel good about the, the pressure being off of it, I'll open up the top cap and that'll allow air to get into the system and to drain the rest of the way. And then I'll repeat this process a few times, adding uh, clean demineralized hot water in. And then these next couple of rinse cycles I'm just gonna do in the shop here. Uh, so I don't have to go on a drive again. It takes a little bit longer, uh, but I start it up, uh, get it hot, and make sure I got the um, exhaust vented, uh, rev it up just a little bit, and run it until it gets to operating temperature. And then you can go fill this left-hand hose, and it should be hot and have a little bit of pressure to it because the water pump's circulating it through the system now that the thermostat's open. And so I know that that's opened up, and the water that's in the radiator is mixing with the water that's in the engine. So that's my second rinse cycle. Do it one more time. Start it up, run it, get it up to temperature, and then uh, drain it and flush it again. Depressurize first, and then open up the top cap. And now I feel good about uh, the color of the fluid coming out. I'm ready to put in antifreeze. I got concentrate and I got a 50-50 mix. Um, the 50-50 mix has a little bit better protection range. Um, than you do a straight antifreeze. Um, so you can uh, get your maximum protection range with that 50-50 um, mix. The total system capacity is 1.65 gallons. That's inside the engine block and the radiator. The radiator takes just over a gallon. So what I'm doing is because of that water I can't get out of the block, I put in a half gallon of concentrate into the radiator and then I'm going to fill it the rest of the way up with um, mixed solution 50-50 water um, and concentrate or um, pre-mix 50-50 from Toyota and then I'm going to go drive it around depressurize the system and then I'm going to check my coolant level it did draw in, a, draw in some fluid from the overflow reservoir as that began to circulate so I've depressurized it close the pet cock and then top off the the system with the, the mixed solution and then now I'm topped off and I should be good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, drive it around with uh, the final mix in here and make sure that my solution meets my temperature I'm after. So I warm it up again um, and then I depressurize it. I'm dropping a little bit of good coolant here to depressurize it and then uh, I check uh, my final mix here and uh, I have five floating discs and that tells me that I have the maximum um, protection range against freezing with the coolant here and then because I dumped a little bit out the bottom to do the check I gotta top it back off again but now it's it's scrubbed it's it's clean and I got new coolant in it and I should be good for another five years hundred thousand miles or so before it begins to break down the additives and it loses its ability to 
keep things from oxidizing or corroding. So I hope you found that useful. I appreciate you watching. I hope you like and subscribe.